these right here are slag ladles on a pallet made by a company called Art Attack. They're from the Netherlands and I think this company is affiliated with Rocco but I'm not sure. This is one of the hardest things to find if you're a steel mill modeler. I lucked out, found one. But what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to take these and cast my own. I'm going to make a mold and then cast my own. I got a rail car I'm going to make and probably a crest slag pot carrier. That's going to take a few years to build that. That's going to be a hard build. I thought the SC400T was tough, but slag pot carrier is going to be a lot tougher. But this is a starting point of both projects. Lucy ready to tell you. Actually, check out their kits. Uh, they make some really neat kits. There's, they have a couple of Bucyrus Erie cranes that I would love to get a hold of. But this is what the slag pot looks like when it's taken out of the package. It's a very nice model, which I'm going to have to take this beast and uh, yeah sand this down flat cut the inside out with my Dremel to give it enough room for you know a big pot of molten slag uh, it's gonna be an interesting yeah I gotta get rid of all this stuff just so I can cast this get rid of this stuff right here it's gotta go away but I can pretty confident I can get a good mold out of this. I'm gonna cast two at the same time. That way I could turn out and these will be all around my EAF and other spots. And I was thinking about uh, modeling a pot maker, a slag pot maker, because I don't think anybody in America does that anymore. It's all done in China. I don't know if Germany still makes their own slag pots. But I think they're all made in China now. So I'm going to put one of those on my layout, Made in America. But that's down the road. But this is one of my projects I got coming up. So if you want to build a slag pot carrier, I'm going to build it as I go this time and show you how to make it, hopefully, if everything works out right. I have all the tires. I have the Norscott 627G to start with. I just have to scratch build the whole back end to hold this pot. And it'll sit about yay high up. About that high or so. Yeah, about like that. That'll be a cool build. But anyway, if you want one of these Artitech slag pot kits, or you'd like to make a load, or you got some model steel, these are really neat. Hopefully you can see the number on the box, and that's the one you look for. I don't know if I can focus in. But that's the one you need. You can just look up Artitech online. They have some really neat kits. If you're into World War II armor, they also make that. Very nice kits. Or actually working, ready to go models such as these. But these are very hard to find if you're a steel mill model. Finally, the hunt paid off. That's it. I'm out.